pelt and turbines are suitable for power extraction. When water energy is available at high head and low flow rate. Working of pelt and turbine is simple. High speed water jet is ejected through a nozzle. When this jet hits buckets of pelt and wheel, it induces an impulsive force. This force makes the turbine rotate. In short, pelt and turbine transforms kinetic energy of water jet to rotational energy. The rotating shaft runs a generator and produces electricity. But demand of power may fluctuate over time. A governing mechanism, which controls position of spearhead, meets this requirement. With lowering power demand, spearhead at water inlet nozzle is moved in, so that water flow rate is reduced. If power demand increases, spearhead is moved out. This will increase flow rate. This in turn makes sure that turbine will rotate at a constant specified RPM, which conforms to the power supply frequency. So this mechanism acts as a speed governing mechanism of pelt and wheel. A cut is provided on bottom portion of buckets. This makes sure that water jet will not get interfered by other incoming buckets. One of the most important parameter of pelt and turbine design is number of buckets on the disc. If number of buckets is inadequate, this will result in loss in water jet. With lowering number of buckets, at some point of operation, complete water jet might be lost. This will decrease efficiency of pelt and turbine drastically. So there should be an appropriate number of buckets, which will make sure that no water is lost. Most vital component of pelt and wheel is, its bucket. Buckets are casted as single solid piece, in order to avoid fatigue failure. Water jet is split into two equal components with help of a splitter. The special shape of bucket makes the jet turn almost 100. Kaplan turbines are suitable for power extraction when water energy is available at low head and high flow rate. Which means they are suitable for operation when water is stored in a big reservoir at a relatively shallow altitude. In Kaplan turbine, flow is entered through a spiral casing. Decreasing area of casing makes sure that flow is entered to the central portion almost at uniform velocity throughout the perimeter. Water after crossing the guide veins passes over the runner. Finally it leaves through a draft tube. Most important part of Kaplan turbine is its runner. Cross section of runner blade will have a curved shape. 
when water flows over it. It will induce a lift force due to airfoil effect. Tangential component of lift force will make the runner rotate. This rotation is transferred to a generator for electricity production. Kaplan turbines are axial flow machines where absolute velocity of flow is parallel to axis of turbine. Water is precisely made to pass through runner blades with help of a shroud. Power demand may fluctuate over time. A governing mechanism, which controls position of guide vanes, is used to control water flow rate. This can meet for varying power demand. Blades of Kaplan turbine are Francis turbines are the most preferred hydraulic turbines. It contributes about 60% of the global hydropower capacity, mainly because it can work efficiently under a wide range of operating conditions. Most important part of Francis turbine is its runner. It is fitted with a collection of complex shaped blades. In runner, water is entered radially and leaves axially. During the course of flow, water glides over runner blades. Francis turbine blades are specially shaped. You can note that blades are having thin airfoil cross-section. So when water flows over it, a low pressure will be produced on one side and high pressure on the other side. This will result in a lift force. You can also note one more peculiar thing about the blade. It is having a bucket kind of shape towards the outlet. So water will hit and produce an impulse force before leaving the runner. Both impulse force and lift force will make the runner rotate. So Francis turbine is not a pure reaction turbine. A portion of force comes from impulse action also. Thus as water flows over runner blades, both its kinetic and pressure energy will come down. Since flow is entering radially and leaves axially, they are also called mixed flow turbine. Runner is connected to generator via a shaft for electricity production. This arrangement is fitted inside a spiral casing. Flow is entered via an inlet nozzle. Flow rate of water will get reduced along length of casing since water is drawn into the runner. But decreasing area of spiral casing will make sure that flow is entered to run a region almost at uniform velocity. Pelton, Francis and Kaplan are the most commonly used hydraulic turbines. In this video we will compare these three turbines and see when to use which turbine. When we move from Pelton to Kaplan, the force producing mechanism changes from impulse to reaction. In Pelton, pure impulse force of water jet is responsible for rotation of impeller. Water stored at high altitude can produce high impulse force due to its high velocity. So Pelton turbine are suitable for operation when water energy is available at high head and low flow rate. whereas Kaplan turbine is suitable for the reverse case. A high water flow will guarantee efficient production of reaction force. So when water is available at high flow rate and low head, Kaplan turbine is the best choice. 
Francis turbine comes in between for medium head to medium flow rate applications. Francis turbine is not a pure reaction turbine. A portion of force comes from impulse action also. This graph gives a clear idea about when to use which turbine, depending upon available water head and flow rate. It is obvious that Francis turbine covers a wide range of operating conditions or they can work efficiently in wide range of operating conditions. This is why Francis turbine is the most preferred hydraulic turbine. If you use a turbine out of its recommended operating range it will work but less efficiently. It is also interesting to note the direction of fluid flow with respect to axis of rotation in each case. 